Today on Mark Reviews Movies, we're doing a classic, going all the way back to 1959 with the movie Some Like It Hot. This stars uh, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. And Marilyn Monroe has a reputation, right, <laughs> as, uh, as kind of this blonde bombshell, um, sex symbol, etc. And this movie would have really been pushing boundaries back in 1959 when it came out. Uh, you know, they're, they're dealing with a lot of kind of social moray kinds of issues. These two characters are actually men and uh, dressing as women. I'll give you a quick idea of the premise here. So they are part of a band that performs in a nightclub owned by the mob during Prohibition. So this is all kind of set in the, the Prohibition era. Uh, they are witnesses to uh, uh, s several murders, really. They're, they're kind of hiding in this building when they see these murders take place. And the mob knows and sees them. So they have to go on the run. Uh, they don't really have any real skills other than playing in a band, and so one of them plays the, the upright bass and the other one plays the saxophone. They decide they need to join a band in another place, in another state, and flee Chicago. Um, so the only band at the time that has openings is an all-woman's band, and they're headed to Florida. So they dress as women and join this band. And this is where you see them in their first rehearsal on a train car on the way down to Florida. These are men, both of these, and sometimes they they pull it off and sometimes they don't. Um, but at, at the time that this happened, it would have been pretty controversial, pretty pretty interesting, pretty risque. Now, Marilyn Monroe is also kind of on the run from her previous life. Um, she's been moving from band to band and has had no luck with bands that have men because she keeps falling in love with the saxophone player and then things don't work out. So she is here trying to escape that kind of culture and uh, and doing so by joining an all-woman's band. Uh, hilarity ensues, as you can imagine, because both of these men are attracted to Marilyn Monroe, but she thinks that they're women, and if they reveal who they truly are, then their lives are in danger, and will the mob catch up with them? We don't know. So all of this is happening. Um, it, it is kind of one of those screwball comedies is, is the term that's given to these. Um, you know, I thought that I had seen a lot of Marilyn Monroe movies, but I think I had seen a lot of Doris Day movies. Um, this, I believe, is the, the first Marilyn Monroe movie that I had actually truly seen. And... I wanted to love it. I, I wanted to love her. I wanted to think that she was this blonde bombshell sex symbol and super attractive. And, you know, it didn't help that this movie had been talked up to me by several of my my co-workers that said things like, oh man, you know, I had my doubts about Marilyn Monroe, but whew, after this movie, I'm convinced. I, I'm not. Uh, you know, it said gentlemen prefer blondes. I, maybe I just prefer brunettes. I don't really know. But um, her character didn't really do it for me. This kind of defenseless, you know, helpless, need a man kind of, you know, not just that, but but kind of someone who's easily influenced or swayed. She didn't have a strong personality. So as a character, I wanted more. I wanted depth. There's more depth in the conductor of their, their band than there is in her character. So, it fell short of, of what I had hoped. Um, as a screwball comedy, it is pretty funny, but the, the review on the back here says, one of the greatest of all film comedies from the motion picture guy. I also disagree with that. I think there are funnier films from this era, not to mention funnier films that have happened since then. So, Some Like It Hot, um, you know, at the time it came out, it says not rated because they didn't really have the rating system that we do now back then. Um, I would give this still, to this day, kind of a PG-13 rating for some of the adult topics and themes. I mean, you see implied murders and, and you know, alcohol running. Everybody's drinking in this. A lot of people are smoking in this. Um, and then, obviously... You know, kind of, kind of sex and attraction, as you can see here, as all the ladies are changing and things, is a big theme of this movie. So, and not one I'd watch with young kids. Um, you know, it's it's entertaining as far as entertainment value goes. It was a good movie, but it fell short of of what my expectations were. If you're just looking for kind of a screwball comedy, 
it's a good one to fit that need. Um, but it's not the best comedy of all time, and it's not even the best movie of this era. There, there are others out there that are far better. That'll do it for Mark Reviews Movies with Some Like It Hot, Marilyn Monroe, Jack Lemmon, and Tony Curtis. Um, check it out if you haven't seen it. You may have to borrow it from a friend like I did, um, or you can find it probably at your local library. Uh, I don't know that it's on Amazon or uh, Netflix. If I find it in one of those places, I'll, I'll leave a comment in the description below. But uh, Let me know if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave your comments in the description below. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Do you love Marilyn Monroe and, and feel like I owe you an apology now? Um, I, I would like someone to tell me what their favorite Marilyn Monroe movie is, because if it's not this, then maybe I just need to watch a different one so that I can understand the appeal. Let me know. Um, like, comments in the, in the section below here. And you know what, I'll just edit the end of this film.